Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're gonna show you how to set up the Blink Outdoor 4 camera, which is a battery-powered Wi-Fi smart security camera system. This was just launched in the summer of 2023. So the first thing that we need to do in order to get our Blink Outdoor 4 camera set up is we've got this module right here. We need to plug this into power. And what this module does is it relays the Wi-Fi signal from the camera back to your Wi-Fi network, and then the camera communicates with the Wi-Fi module. So in order to do this, all we're gonna do is take the provided cord and the provided power adapter. We're gonna plug those in, and then on the module itself, you can see right here, we've got that little port there for plugging in the power adapter. So we're gonna do that right now. We just plugged in the Blink Sync module and you can see the blue light lit up, which means that it's powered up. Now we're gonna connect the Blink Sync module to the Blink app and get that set up. If you've not already done so, download the Blink app, set up a username and password, and then log in. So I'm gonna click on the Blink app and I'm gonna open it up. I've already logged in with my username and password, but if you haven't done that, do so now. Now, in order to set up the sync module, what we're going to need to do is click in the upper right-hand corner on this plus symbol to add the device. So I click on that, and then it has different devices that I can add. So I'm going to click on sync module right here. It says Blink would like to access the camera. Serial numbers can be entered using the camera. We're going to click OK. Capture the QR code. On the back of this device, there's a QR code. Scan that now. Once you scan the QR code, this is the next screen that pops up. It says choose a system for your sync module too. Now you could choose an existing sync module if you have one from existing Blink cameras, but we're going to just create a new system as if you just got this for the first set of Blink cameras you've ever used. So I'm going to click continue here. It says create a new system and we're just gonna call this one Outdoor 4. and click continue. Discover device, blinking blue, and a steady green, which is what we've got for our lights up here. So we've got the blinking blue. We're going to click discover device. Blink wants to join Wi-Fi network. We're going to click join. Blink would like to find and connect to devices on your local network. We're going to click allow. Now you need to choose your Wi-Fi network here. Enter your password for your Wi-Fi network. Once you've entered your Wi-Fi network password, click join. Updating firmware. Do not unplug the sync module too. Great, our Blink sync module has been outed to the Outdoor 4 system. Now we're going to click done. This is your sync module. Tap here to check the status. Let's click got it. This is currently connected. Now that we've got the sync module connected, we can now set up the Blink Outdoor 4 smart security camera. It's important to note that you need to have the Blink sync module set up before you're gonna be able to set up the Blink Outdoor 4, or if you have an existing sync module set up, you can use that to set up your Blink Outdoor 4 camera. The next step in getting your Blink Outdoor 4 camera set up is that you need to insert the batteries. To do this, there's a little knob on the back here and you're gonna to need to grab a coin. You can use a nickel or a quarter or even a dime and you're just going to unscrew this. So put the coin in there and uh, unscrew it. You could use a screwdriver as well, but I find coins work just as good. Now you're going to open up the back plate once you unscrew that and they provide you with two batteries. It's important to note it says use 1.5 volt lithium batteries only, and that's what we've got here. These come with the packaging. So we're going to put each one of these in, and then we're going to move on from there. So make sure you've got it lined up correctly, and then we're gonna put this one in like so, so that we've got these lined up correctly. And you can see that the uh, plus symbols on the batteries match the plus symbols down below in the plastic. Now that we've got this in here, we're ready to start getting the Blink Outdoor Camera 4 set up on the app. 
So I'm gonna click plus right here, and then I'm gonna click wireless camera right here. Now it says capture the QR code printed on the device in the quick start guide or enter the device serial number manually. On the back of the device right here, there is a QR code. So scan that right now. If you don't have that, get that from the quick start guide. Great, we just scanned the back of the Blink Outdoor 4. Now it says choose a system for your Blink Outdoor 4 camera so we can select the system, the sync module that we already set up. So I'm just going to click continue right now. Now it says looking for your camera. This process takes about 30 seconds and it may update the firmware. Now's a great time to put the back plate back on. So we're going to take the back plate, just put it back on and screw it down with this little provided screw here. You're gonna wanna make sure that you orient the back plate correctly so that the Blink logo is at the top of the camera like so, so the Blink is reading upright and the camera is at the top. You can see it like so. And now you're just going to screw this back in place to get that battery door in place and holding everything in. While we were screwing the battery cover plate back on the Blink Outdoor 4 camera, the camera was added successfully as we can see here. You could click next, but there's also some tips for what to avoid when you are positioning your camera. I recommend looking at those. So we're going to click next now. Welcome to your Blink Plus plan free trial. We're going to click next. Person detection is available. We're going to click next. Get longer live view with mini and wired floodlight cameras. It says experience up to 90 minutes of continuous live view per session. We're going to click next. Never miss a moment. Save and share your videos. See what's happening between events. We're going to click done. Now our blink camera is connected and it should populate here. So I'm just going to click right here, take a picture. And that means that this camera will take a picture and then it's going to pop up. So you can see it did just take a screenshot and we'll do that again. And now you're gonna see my hand in front of that camera while we take a picture. But it can also take live video. So if you click here, that's going to give you live video of the camera as is currently streaming. So you can see my hand in front of the camera. There's a little bit of a delay, about a second or so, but it is pretty good in terms of live video footage for a battery powered camera that can be placed indoors or outdoors. Now, what's nice about this is that you can save this and you can also even have two-way communication here. So right now I've got the mic disabled so that we don't have too much feedback on video, but you can actually hear what's going on through the camera as well as speak through the camera if you wanted to ward off an intruder. Now, if you click more, you've got more options here and you can go into your device settings. Here you've got general settings, you've got motion detection settings, video and photo settings, audio settings, privacy settings, and just help. So in the motion settings, you can choose how sensitive you want the motion detection to be. And you also have different motion recording types. You can have it set just for recording when persons are detected or to all motion. So we're going to click back on this and then you could choose the sensitivity down here. So right now we've got it on a six, which in my experience is a good level based on the previous Blink cameras I've had. You can also change your re-trigger time. So you can do anywhere from, let's see, 10 seconds all the way up to 60 seconds. I'm gonna leave it on 10 seconds like we've got here. And then you can customize your motion zones. So if you only want to have motion detected in this area where I've got my hand, you could make it so these are the only motion detection zones you want recording or to be alerted to. It's a really nice feature and you can customize this as much as you want, or you could update the photo, or you can reset the activity zones. Now there's also an advanced feature here. And what that means is that you're just gonna have more squares and you're gonna be able to choose exactly how many you want to have activated. So I'm gonna go back to basic and that's just a lower resolution view. 
You also got privacy zones here, which you can create a privacy zone so it does not detect motion and does not record video. What this is good for is if you are monitoring an area that gets a lot of traffic and maybe you don't want it to record when people are driving by in their cars, but you do want it to record when people are in your yard. That's the perfect way to use these activity zones. I'm going to click done now, and then it's going to take us back to the menu for settings and we can change around more if we want. I'm gonna go back again, and now you can look at your video and photo settings. Here you've got motion clip length, and you can take this all the way up to 60 seconds, and you can change your video quality. I recommend using a higher video quality just because you're gonna get more valuable video out of those. Now it will reduce battery life, and it can bog down your internet a little bit. However, I do think it's worth it. So I'm gonna put it to best quality right here. Now you've got the option to end clip early if motion stops and you've got options for night vision. I like to leave the night vision on. You've also got an IR illuminator, which helps you see at night. You can choose the intensity between low, medium, and high. You're gonna to need to experiment with that based on your location and how this will work. Now, if you scroll down below, you've got your photo capture and you can take one photo per hour when this is enabled and armed. So I'm going to click save on those settings and that's gonna take us back to our device settings. Now you've got your final settings here, audio and privacy settings, which you can change around as needed. If we go here, back to the home screen, we can click in the middle and that's going to just give us a live video again and we can close that and this takes us back to the main home screen for the Blink app. Currently I've got it disarmed, which means that it's not going to record any video while I have it in disarmed, unless I take a picture or manually press the camera button which will start recording. But once I've got it armed, when motion is detected, this will then start recording clips, which will then show up on the app. So the outdoor system is armed. And then what will happen is those clips will be transmitted back to the Blink app, and you're gonna see them available here in the clip module. So I've got some of these from old videos, but new ones are going to start to show up now that I've got this Blink Outdoor 4 connected. So thank you for watching this video on how to set up your Blink Outdoor 4 security camera. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time.